Welcome back to another recap. We got to talk about The Other Way Season 5, Episode 18. This was a really good episode, so let's talk about it. We're obsessed with TLC and all the trashy reality TV. It's It's a a recap. recap. It's a recap. It's a recap. So Shekinah and Sarper go to meet with his extended family for a holiday. I can't really remember what it was called. But they all seem to like her and they ask her if she plans on having any more kids and she's like, no. And his cousin tells her, well, he's never been a dad before. Don't you feel like he should experience fatherhood at least once in his life? Do you plan to have a child? I don't plan to have another child, no. At this age, it would be like starting over. But I would love love him to see he as a dad. I felt bad for her in the moment because it felt like they were really trying to push her into wanting to have a kid with him. I mean, it's so easy for a guy to want kids. I mean, if I were a guy, I would want kids. Give me five. Give me ten. I don't care. I'll take as many as I can. It really bothered me when Sarper said he was going to do his best to try and persuade her to wanting a child. So now the family, um, they do a little activity where they have to draw out like one of their wishes. So they each get a little piece of paper and Sarper's drawing and she kind of looks over and takes a peek and he drew two stick figures holding hands. And we find out that Sarper is a dad. Like he has a son who is 25 years old. I have a son. What? I have a son, but I'd never met or seen him before. Now, he doesn't know his name or where he lives or what he looks like, because what happened was when Sarper was 18, he had a one week fling with a girl from Russia and they banged all week. And back then they didn't have like cell phones, so they exchanged email addresses. And when he got back home, he got an email from her saying that she was pregnant and that she was going to have the baby. Sarper panicked probably because he was only 18 years old and he wasn't ready to be a parent and have that kind of responsibility. And because he was so worried that she would somehow come and find him and just drop the baby off and make him responsible for it, he deleted his email address and then he completely lost touch with her. Now that he's much older, he regrets it and he hopes that one day he can meet his son. What do you guys think about this? I got pretty emotional because I felt like Sarper was he was very vulnerable in that moment and it was honest and i could tell that it really affected him and he was in deep regret having a baby is the purpose of life because you are in blood continue i mean i have a child and i didn't see him i never have that feeling but at the same time i don't know how to feel about like i guess if i'm the mother right and this guy ghosted me and he didn't help me At all, I had to raise this child alone for 25 years. And then he comes out of nowhere saying that he wants to be in the child's life. On one hand, yeah, my child would be a grown man at 25 years old. On the other hand, I'd be like, geez, you're going to show up now after I've done all the hard work? Sarper admits that he does want a child and he really wants Shekinah to change her mind. And Shekinah is upset because she made it very clear from the beginning. Day one, as soon as they started talking, that she did not want any more kids. And he also agreed and said he didn't want any more kids. Now she brings it up to Sarper. She was like, I told you from the very beginning that I didn't want any more kids. And you told me the same thing. And he said, well, I thought you were going to be a one night stand. I thought I was just going to fuck you and leave. So yeah, I told you whatever you wanted to hear. And she's like, what? So you lied to me? And you just said that because you just wanted to get in my pants. And he was like, yeah, but I do love you now. And so the things I didn't want before, I want now. And I don't know if Shekinah was a little like touched by that because it's kind of like, oh, I made this hard, cold hearted man who never wanted kids to want a child with me because now he's in love. I've changed him. I wasn't sure if that's what she was thinking, but I was like, girl, stay strong. Okay, if you do not want a child, do not have one for him, okay? We see in the preview for the next episode, they argue about it again. And he even tells her, if you love me, like if you love someone, you're going to want a child with them. He tries to guilt trip her and she even says so herself that he has to choose whether he wants a child or if he wants her. Now, if I were her, knowing how badly he wants a child and then ultimately 
he sacrifices his desire to want one and then chooses a relationship with me, I don't think I could continue on with the relationship because having a child is a non-negotiable. If he chooses to not have a child because I didn't want a child when he really wanted a child, then he's going to hold that against me. He's going to resent me for the rest of of his life. So Mary and Brandon prank his mom because remember that they wanted to prank her into eating frog legs by saying that it was chicken legs. So they're at the dinner table and there are these teeny tiny legs with like no meat on them. And Brandon tells his mom that these are baby chicken legs and that's why they're so little. And his mom is like, oh my God, I'm not going to eat a baby chicken. And he's like, why not? You eat adult chicken all the time. And she's like, well, I just don't want to eat the baby chicken. So then he tells her, OK, I'm just kidding. These are frog legs. And she's like, oh, well, I feel much better about that. Chomp, 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 chomp. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I was laughing. <laughs> she said it was delicious and she really enjoyed her frog legs. Brandon and his mom go out to the market to spend a little time together. They sit down and talk about their past and the mom talks about how she never imagined turning into an addict. When Brandon was only 14 years old, his mom would kind of disappear and leave for a very long period of time. And during those times, he would have to step up and take care of his younger siblings. And one day DHS came and took all of them away. And that was very traumatic for him. Now his mom is only 18 months sober. That's pretty damn recent. I did not know that. He tells her he's really proud of her for her sobriety. And then she says her recovery journey would just be complete. It would be like the icing on the cake if she could rebuild her relationship with him. So then he tells her that she really needs to make an effort to bond and get along with Mary. And if she doesn't, that might affect her relationship with their baby. And I appreciate that you are willing to give me a shot at being your mom, even though you are in a position where you are becoming a dad. Even dads need their moms, you know? Ooh, I got so emotional. One night, Mary, Brandon, and his mom go out to dinner to find out the baby's gender. Now, they make a little game out of this. Brandon wanted to do something to make his mom feel a little bit more included. But before the gender reveal, Brandon's mom really wants to talk to the both of them. She really encourages for both of them to get therapy and to get counseling for their childhood trauma and the dysfunctional family that they grew up in. I would really like to see both of you doing individual therapy. The things that you struggle with, like the fear of abandonment, overthinking. Brandon has his anger and codependency. When you guys work on those separately, together, you will function better. I absolutely agree with her. 100%. Mary is so appreciative of this. She's like, oh my God, thank you so much for your advice. Like nobody's ever given me this kind of advice and it means a lot coming from you. And I could tell Mary was very sincere. Oh, I'm really thankful that you give us advice. It helps me a lot. Really means a lot to me. Thank you for that. No one's did that to me before. So. I think all along she just wanted her approval and her acknowledgement, and they made a lot of progress. It was a very nice moment. You know what fucking sucks so? Therapy is so expensive and so inaccessible for most people. I even heard that in America, most therapist offices don't even accept insurance. They don't even take the insurance information because the insurance companies are fucking ass. And they make it impossible for these medical offices to process the insurance because the insurance doesn't want to pay for it, basically. Anyway, I really hope that they do get some help and get therapy. I don't know if his mom is seeing all these live streams of them arguing and crying. Oh, God. But anyway, his mom opens up the ultrasound and finds out that the gender is a girl. So then Brandon smashes pie into Mary's face and then Mary smashes it back and they're all laughing. And it was a very good moment. It was very nice. And lastly, we have Holly and Wayne. Do you guys remember Holly? In my last recap of her and Wayne, people were like, who are they? I don't remember seeing them. <laughs> Sorry. So Holly is out of her mind bored. She has no friends. She has nothing to do. She doesn't have a car. South Africa isn't safe for her to go around and just like go to the mall. 
um, go shopping, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So she goes on Amazon and orders a mermaid tail because she wants to cosplay as a mermaid because Wayne has a pool in his backyard and she's always wanted to know what it felt like to be a mermaid. So she's going to wear the mermaid tail and just hang by the pool. Oh my God, I totally just got this random memory from my childhood that my little sister and I, we used to play Little Mermaid, like in the bathtub and in the swimming pool. And I, as the older sister, would always be like, I'm Ariel and you're Flounder or Sebastian. <laughs> and my sister was like, but I want to be Ariel. You're always Ariel. And I'd be like, well, do you want to be Flounder or do you want to be Ursula? <laughs> and she'd be like, I'll be Flounder. <laughs> Oh God, that poor girl. So Wayne and Holly get into an argument because Holly is complaining about how lonely she is and how miserable she is in South Africa. And he's like, well, you're not trying hard enough. Like go out, make some friends. And she's like, how am I going to make new friends? I don't know anybody and it's not safe here. And like, how am I going to meet people? And he's like, well, you're not trying hard enough. And she's like, oh, I'm over it. I want to go to America. And he's like, you always say you want to go to America. And she's like, well, I want you to come with me. And he's like, you don't want me to come with you. All you do is say, I want to go to America. You don't say we should go to America. And she's like, well, I'm telling you, you should come with me. And he's like, how am I supposed to get a job there? And she's like, well, I know you can't work for a little bit, but you eventually will. And he's like, no, no, no. And she's like, Ugh. And so basically one day she's painting on the floor and the lights go out because of the load shedding and she has had enough. She's like, I'm so sick of this load shedding bullshit. I'm going back to America. And also I noticed she had four pairs of Louboutins behind her. OK, that's like five to six thousand dollars just sitting there. No wonder she wants to go back to America. She has nowhere to go with her six inch Louboutins in South Africa. Blah, blah, blah. She's afraid that she's going to get robbed every other hour. By the end of the night, she tells Wayne, I'm leaving with or without you. So yeah, that's where things end. Well, that's it for the recap. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Oh, by the way, I just finished The Family Chantel and that divorce, <coughs> my throat is getting real dry. That divorce was so, <coughs> what the f that divorce was so ugly. <clears throat> wow I can't wait to talk to you guys about it so oh my god maybe I should talk about it tomorrow because my voice uh, my throat is kind of killing me so I will talk to you guys in the next one bye <laughs>